I keep getting error code E003 on my Navian NPE248 tankless water heater. It is about 7 years old and the problem started when I had major renovation work done at home. They ran a new gas line for a new stove in the back of my house and where Toehold Kitchen was moved the gas line for a future fireplace. They turned the gas off and on multiple times. All added gas lines were after the water heater and error code comes back usually within a week after a reset. Any idea what it can be causing this? How long has this been going on with your Navian water heater? What have you tried so far? It started in December. The work was done in November in my house. I've cleaned the air filter, water inlet filter and flushed the unit. I also got a new gas valve, ignition transformer and igniter but haven't replaced them yet. Was going to do that today but then found this chat session site. Where in your home is your Navian water heater installed? In the basement where the gas and water lines enter the house. How long has this been going on with your Navian water heater? What have you tried so far? It started in December, the work was done in November in my house. I've cleaned the air filter, water inlet filter and flushed the unit. I also got a new gas valve, ignition transformer and igniter but haven't replaced them yet. Was going to do that today but then found this chat session site. Anything else we should know to help you best? Other than the construction and what I've done to the unit. No. The code you are getting is for ignition failure. Have you had any maintenance done on this recently? Specifically the flame sensor removed? And cleaned? No the only thing I've done inside the unit itself is clean the air filter on top left, flush the whole system clean and clean the water intake filter. I purchased a new igniter, ignition transformer and gas valve from Navian thinking one of these could be faulty. I also ordered a manometer to check the gas pressure but that won't be delivered till Monday. No, I don't think so. But keep them handy. Do you have them manually handy? I believe you will need to clean the burner compartment and the flame sensor. I have the manual. Does it show how to access the burner and flame sensor? Let me check what I have. I have worked on many Navian heaters and other brands. I just can't remember off the top of my head where the sensor is, or if it is possibly part of the igniter. I will check a manual and get back. If you could pull the cover off and send me a pic that would be the easiest. Jerry I can't open it now well in about a half hour but here it is from a pic online. Customer Attachment April 24, 2024 15 and 58 seconds p.m. Okay, yes, I believe this unit has the igniter and sensor in one. So if you have the new igniter, I would go ahead and replace it. That should solve it. It is located inside the burner box and has the two thick wires attached to it. Be careful with the gasket when you remove it from the burner box. Replace the gasket if they sent one. Jerry Excellent thanks Jerry I'll do that within the hour problem as I won't know if it fixes the problem until a day, a week, every time I shut down the unit and unplug it or reset it the problem clears, then comes back randomly within a week or so. Okay. Also you could try using some compressed air, and blow out the burner compartment while you have the igniter assembly out. 
Also take a good look at the flame sensor portion of the igniter, if you want you can take some sandpaper and clean it lightly. If it has any build up on it, that probably is the issue. Of course it could be many other things, especially if the gas installers have done any pressure adjustments, not likely. But in my experience replacing, cleaning, the flame sensor, igniter assembly in this case, should solve your problem. Please hit accept and rate the question. Thanks, safe in our new world. Jerry. Okay, I'm willing to try anything aside from hitting reset or unplugging the unit. I've read some other reviews and sites of people with this problem and there's never a solid resolution hopefully this does it thanks again Jerry, I appreciate her help, even if it doesn't work. And you stay safe as well. Thanks, Chris. The question keeps popping up in my alerts. Anytime you reply, it assumes that I need to reply back until the answer accepted. If you have further questions, or want to continue the conversation that is fine. If finished for now please do not reply. I would appreciate a rating and accept so I get paid. Thanks, Jerry. I just changed the igniter, flame rod assembly, and the ignition transformer. The flame rod assembly was a little dirty and the tip is brittle but doesn't look bad. I replaced anyway and just powered back up time will tell. I'm finished for now. What do I need to do for you? How do I give a rating? There should be a button on your screen with stars. I am not sure lol. I only see this end of the screen. Try scrolling to the top. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, I'll check you will get as many stars as I can give lol thanks again. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.